The Ottoman Nationals are upon us and start in London. So what better place to run the rule the Springboks opponents in the next few weeks now? Every coach who has ever been involved in international rugby has always had the same feeling about England, that they are rugby's biggest sleeping giant. Everyone knows that, look at the natural advantages they have. They have the richest union in the world. They have a hugely competitive premiership where they unearth a rich seam of talent on a consistent basis. And they have a vibrant school system which feeds into their pathway. And they have a massive playing base to choose from. Yet, since the advent of professionalism, they've got it right only sporadically. Sir Clive Woodward awoke the beast in the early 2000s. But since then, it's been slim pickings. Indeed. I still find it staggering that they have only won one Grand Slam in the last 20 years. Once they get their act together, they will be very hard to beat. But first England need to decide how they want to play. You know, what is their identity? Back in the day, we knew that Delalio, Hill and Johnson would carry hard around the corner. That Greenwood and Tyndall would smash it up the middle. That out wide the likes of Josh Luzzi, Jason Robinson and Ben Cohen would run you ragged with space. And if Wilkinson couldn't get the running game going, he would kill you with his boot, whether it was a drop goal or that metronomic left boot off the deck. You knew it was coming, but boy was a different matter stopping at point one aspect the RFU have nailed is by backing Steve Borthwick. They need continuity. He is the youngest international coach on the circuit, so he has time on his hands. He has kept a nucleus of players they've rewarded with a central contract, and this has further strengthened his hand in controlling the players. These are the sorts of things that can really help harmony, identity, and cohesiveness. And don't forget, they have genuine talent coming through.